Okay, so if you're uh, running a membership site and you're creating a lot of videos for training purposes and you're uploading them to uh, Amazon S3 and you want to stop people from downloading your videos, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do. Okay, a few things we can do um, is when you create a bucket, I'm going to walk you through exactly how to set this up so people are unable to download your videos. Okay, so let's just create a bucket here. And I'm going to create a, let's just see, um, install FB pixel. So I'm creating a new uh, bucket here. And what I'm trying to do is I, I don't want people to be able to download this video. Okay, so I created the bucket name. I copied some existing uh, settings from an existing bucket, but don't worry about that. That's nothing you have to worry about. I'll show you exactly what you need to do here. And click Next. And the first thing you need to do is come down here to the default encryption. And click on the bottom section here and you're going to want to make sure that you have the AES 256 checked here which is going to put an encryption code onto your video now this can work the same if you're doing a PDF or anything else audio file doesn't make any difference click Save click next you're not going to grant any access except for yourself okay so Manage public permissions. You're not going to grant any uh, public access. Now, if you're creating a PDF for people to download, then obviously you're going to have to um, to give public permission for these people to download uh, whatever it is that you're uh, you're allowing them to download. So for this, we're not allowing anybody to download anything. So we're going to click next and create bucket. Okay, now I'm going to find that bucket. Let's see where it is here. It's right here. Install FB Pixel. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go ahead and upload the video now. I'm going to add the file. I have to find that. Okay, here it is. I'm going to go ahead and click upload, or I can click next. I'm going to go ahead and click upload. It's going to upload it here. You can see it'll take a couple minutes here for it to upload. And just so, waiting while this uploads, we're going to need a piece of code, which I'm going to let you, it's, which will be below here, which you can download. Okay, it's just a piece of code that we're going to enter in. And right here, where I have Facebook rules, I'm going to show you how I'm going to change that. But you, what you're going to do is exchange your URL of your home page, of whatever home page your videos are going on, if you have a membership site or whatever, whatever the URL is to that home page. You're going to replace that with my URL here. And then up here where it says Facebook rules, okay, that's going to be the name of the bucket. And that's going to be it. So what we're going to do is we're going to just, I'm going to copy this code here. And you can see where it says properties here. You click on properties. You can see that we have the encryption set up here which is what we want. Now we want to go to permissions. Okay, permissions, only, only we have permission to this bucket. We want to go set a bucket policy now. And that's the code that I have. I'm going to paste that code in here. You see where it says Facebook rules here? I'm going to take that out and I'm going to put in my the name of my bucket. You see it up here? Install FB Pixel. So it's going to be install dash FB dash pixel. 
Yep, Arkham it didn't do anything. Install dash FB dash pixel. Okay, that's it there. And now you have to make sure that you have your website URL, wherever this is going to be showing up, whether it's a membership site or your home site, whatever it is, that needs to be in there. Okay, that's it. Don't remove any of these other pieces of code here. All right, then you're gonna click save. This bucket has public access. Okay, so this is all good. Let's go back to overview. Here's our Facebook Pixel MP3 4 that we're going to be copy this URL. Now I'm going to take it back to my website and install it. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm going to my website on my uh, membership site where I'm going to install this code. And for me, I'm on a Thrive Themes uh, WordPress theme, so. It really doesn't matter what you're using. I'm going to choose the video. I'm pasting the Amazon S3 video right there. Install it in here. I'm going to click save. And then I'll show you how this works. Oh, save it. Preview. Okay, so we have our video right here, right? Okay, people can usually download these automatically. If you don't want people to download them, you'll see. And you can see where it tried to download it, but it says failed, forbidden. Okay, so anybody that even tries to copy the URL, let's just see. There's the URL to this. If I go enter, access code denied okay so that's how you're gonna go about installing that little piece of snippet code into your MS or your um, Amazon s3 management console uh, buckets so you can stop people from downloading any important videos that you really don't want everybody to have access to okay if you have questions or comments please leave them below this video